Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we're taking a look at the Vector Pro Notebook by Maingear. This 17 inch gaming laptop comes with 11th gen i7 11800H processor, an RTX 3080 16 gigabyte GPU, and has a TGP of 165 watts. Comes with a 17.3 2560 by 1440 IPS 165 hertz QHD display, and that's at 400 nits of brightness. 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD uh, with an extra slot for more storage. And so we're really looking forward to unboxing this. We're going to take a look at the chassis. We're going to take a look at the keyboard, the trackpad, the I.O., and then we'll take a look at the internals, and then I'll have some initial thoughts at the end. So let's get into it. So let's take a look at the propaganda here. Open this up. Looks like we got some stickers. Okay. Then we got the owner's manual, 17 inch model, which we have. Good. Then it looks like we have a welcome to main gear family. Let's get you started. Super. Thank you, main gear. Set that off to the side. We have a 230 watt power brick. And then we got our cables here. It's a long one. It's good. All right, for the main event. Very little flex around the edges, but once you get to the middle, there is a little bit of flex. Let's go ahead. There is just a slight lip here where you can get your fingernail under and lift it up with one finger. Yeah. 
there is a slight clicking right here. I, I think maybe there might be I'm not exactly sure why, but there seems to be some kind of unevenness here. And I can't tell if it's the foot, rubber foot underneath, if it's a little bit higher. But I have to tell you, that will get really annoying. So you notice when I pushed down on the corner here that it kind of felt like it was lopsided. The funny thing is, is it doesn't happen when the lid is closed. It only happens when the lid is open, but not on this side. It's almost like it's heavier on this side. I, I can't figure out what the deal is there, but it's very, very strange. Yeah, nothing. I want to take a look at the screen wobble here. Very little flex. Seems very, very sturdy. Uh, there is a little bit of wobble, but it's not bad. It's not bad. There's very little flex here on the palm rest and around the edges or up above the keyboard and below the screen. Hmm. Very little travel um, and the keyboard, this keyboard isn't my favorite. It's a little squishy to be honest with you. Um, I've seen better. Trackpad, it feels like it's glass, but it's smooth and uh, it's decent size. And uh, so, I mean, it's nothing special, but it's, it's good, it's decent. So I, I have no complaints there. Okay. So let's take a look at the IO. On the left hand side, we have the Kensington lock, we have some venting, we have USB A, I think that's Gen 2, and then we have uh, two separate ports uh, one for the microphone and one for the headphone. And then on the right hand side here, we have a mini SD slot, that's unfortunate, too bad it's not full size. And then two USB A ports, those are Gen 1, we have some more venting, and then we have more venting on the back here and then we have a USB-C uh, it does not appear to be Thunderbolt HDMI uh, Ethernet jack and then the power port if we flip this over uh, as you can see we have um, four rubber feet here and then the screws keeping the bottom plate secure to the chassis is a Phillips head screws and then plenty of intake vents uh, for airflow to keep this laptop cool while playing AAA games. And then we have two grills here uh, there for the downward facing speakers. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the internals. We're gonna weigh this first and then I'll have some initial thoughts at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and weigh this laptop by itself. Comes out to four pounds, 14.5 ounces. And then if you include the power brick and cables, comes out to six pounds, 5.2 ounces. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the internals here. Before I do, uh, I just wanna mention that uh, there are 10 Phillip head screws um, securing the bottom plate here to the chassis. Like I said before, you have the four rubber feet. And I did measure out the feet themselves uh, just because of that wobble when the screen is open, uh, when it's upright. 
Um, and they're even. I mean, there's no difference in the size of the feet or, you know, how thick they are. So I, I still can't figure out why there is that wobble there, but uh, maybe as we go along and create videos around this laptop, we'll figure it out. Um, lots of grills here for air intake to keep this laptop cool while playing AAA games. You get the two vents here for the downward facing speakers. Uh, once I got the screws out, uh, which were really easy, um, the bottom plate here came off uh, fairly quick. Not a lot of clips to hold it in place, and so that was nice. Let's go ahead and turn it over. You got a couple heat sinks here. And it looks like it's going over the two SSDs, if you were to have two SSDs. So you got one SSD here, uh, that's the one terabyte uh, drive that comes with the laptop. Then you have an extra one here for more storage. So uh, because they're next to each other like that, maybe they get really, really hot, therefore you need um, all this, but uh, I'm not sure. I think it's interesting that they have them side by side. I don't think I've seen that yet. Anyway, uh, okay, let's take a closer look. Uh, like I said before, around the SSDs, you got uh, one uh, that comes with the uh, laptop, one terabyte in this case, and then the extra slot. Uh, you got a swappable Wi-Fi card. You have the two downward facing speakers. The 91.24 watt uh, battery here. And then you have uh, the heat pipes, the fans to keep this laptop cool. And uh, then you have the two slots here for the dims, memory dims. And let's go ahead and just pull one out so we can take a closer look. Two hundred hertz. Okay. I did notice that um, some of the cables here uh, are this tape. There's quite a bit of black tape, uh, kind of securing some of this stuff. Um, not sure why there's black tape here black tape here um, there's black tape here holding this cable in I don't know it's kind of funky I don't think I've ever seen this before and then you got these twisted cables on both sides here and one that goes underneath maybe the secondary SSD so I'm not gonna pull that up because I, I don't know if it's connected or not it looks like it is I think this goes on the bottom the SSD just is right over it. I don't know if that's a uh, cause for concern or not. Anyway, uh, that's the internals. Uh, let's do some initial thoughts. Main Gears Vector Pro 17 inch gaming laptop. After we secured the bottom plate, um, right after we reviewed the internals, that wobble that we discovered in the beginning uh, while the screen was open magically disappeared. So, I don't know what to say. I looked over the laptop um, after we unboxed it and I did not see that the bottom plate here was out of place or uneven or not secure. It, it looked fine, but somewhere there was a problem. And once I screwed the bottom plate back on, uh, it just, that wobble disappeared. So I, I don't know what to say about that. It's weird. Maybe a little QC issue uh, with this laptop before it left the plant. Anyway, um, a couple things that I liked about this laptop, and there's a couple things that I didn't like. What I do like is the trackpad. I thought that was really nice. Uh, it was glass, and it was large enough, and I, I thought it was good. There's this aesthetic about this laptop that I really like, too. It's kind of got this matte finish, and then it's just got this really, uh, just this unassuming design on the top, and that's really it, and I kind of like that. It's thin, it's light, I think this would travel well. So there's that. Some things I didn't like about it. Um, 
One, the keyboard seemed really, really mushy. It was not my favorite. It'll do, but it wasn't my favorite. The I.O. is okay. It's not fantastic. I, I wish they had some more USB-C with Thunderbolt, and I also wish that um, it had a full-size SD slot instead of the mini one. Um, I think that's a missed opportunity. The internals, um, plenty of uh, opportunity for upgrading but I was a little concerned around the black tape. I'm sure it's nothing, but uh, there was quite a bit of it, and I didn't take any of it off just because I wasn't sure that I'd be able to get it back on, uh, and it would be sticky, and it would be doing the job that whatever it's doing, you know, it's doing. So that, that kind of concerned me. The two uh, SD uh, slots right next to each other, um, I don't know if that's a big deal. It did have the heat sinks on the bottom part of the bottom uh, bottom plate so um, maybe it's not a concern maybe it is but it's worth calling out um, other than that it, it was pretty decent internals uh, I'll be really looking forward to getting this thing on some benchmarking and bringing those results to you as soon as possible so if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike hit the subscribe button we appreciate it helps the channel, and gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. Not only that, it gives us an opportunity to get better as we go. And I will tell you right now, we're at around 420 plus subscribers, and our goal is to hit 500 by the end of this year. So not very long to go. We hope we get, we hit that mark. Um, so anyway, uh, just throwing that out there. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.